Okay, I've been messing with the Arduino controller here, the uh, Uno you see down there. And the electronics kit that came with the Periscope uh, that one of the gentlemen offered, there are three, uh, there's an A, B, and a C, and when they're either open or grounded, they do different things. We have six modes. So what I did is I wrote a little uh, program in Arduino that basically goes through and treats it just like an LED. So I'm telling uh, pin one, pin two, or pin three, uh, whether to go high or low. Uh, high would be on, uh, low would be off. And let me just power on this periscope here, and the Arduino should already be running. Yep, we got green lights on that. Okay, so you can see it's going to start rolling through the different settings here right now. Okay, right now it's doing Dagobah. And what I did is I told it to go to each individual one and stay there for five seconds. So it looks like right now, oh, that's searchlight. That certainly is bright. You can tell uh, it's not starting in the exact order. I started it at that because the Arduino has been running and I didn't have 12 volt power on it. That is Sparkle. That's where all the LEDs are flashing randomly. I'll do that for five seconds. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Excite. And now it should be back to doing its full cycle where it's going to randomly select one. It looks like this one chose the Sith one. And now it's doing the Dagobah one, which is uh, the one that's supposed to be the most authentic to the movie. Okay, that's the Obi-Wan, where we have the uh, top blue LEDs, flashing blue, side LEDs are blue, and the white LEDs are random. I'd say that it's living up to that. And then uh, Yoda, the top LEDs and side LEDs fade green off and on. And then we move on to Sith, which the top LEDs and side LEDs flash red. That's Searchlight. I bet you can't imagine why. And there's our sparkle. So let me kill the power to that guy right now here. There we go. So that's just a kind of a first try at it. I'll have to upload the, uh, the, there's really not much to the code, but I'll upload it to the uh, astromech board here to uh, see what the guys think. I'm sure that being much more advanced than me, they'll have some better ideas how to do a few things, but uh, that would be a nice way to, uh, you know, minus pushing buttons or what have you, uh, you know, on the droid itself to change the different modes on the periscope. So this would be really cool to use in combination with the droid controller that uh, they're working on. Uh, so I could change these modes remotely. So anyway, that's where I'm at.